Hey everyone, Kevin here. I figured I would hit a topic that naturally follows from my last video. Is the pay better outside of teaching? And the answer is absolutely yes. But it's not necessarily as clean cut as that this time. As I mentioned previously, teachers put in far more hours than they are contracted to, and we never got paid for that time. It was literally free labor to schools, and as we all know, the public school system can't exist without educators sacrificing so much of their own time to make it happen. Paying teachers overtime would bankrupt school districts because it would amount to hundreds of thousands of hours spread out among teachers at every school site. This doesn't happen, though, because teachers are salaried employees and get a fixed amount of money for the school year, a salary pay scale that was paid over the course of 10 months, too. Now, to dispel the illusion that somehow many people still have, unless they are teaching summer school, educators don't get paid over the summer. Oh, and our pay already is extremely low in comparison to other jobs that have the same prerequisite number of degrees and certifications. Plus, our pay only goes up a tiny amount every year, sometimes as little as $50, and doesn't keep up with inflation. So realistically, we are making less every single year. This came from a growing deprofessionalization of teachers, something we covered in a podcast episode with Kimberly Finney, by the way, if you want to listen to that. And as a result, educators aren't paid what they are worth, and that pay doesn't go as far anymore. So many teachers have to work more than one job just to maintain a standard of living that allows them to support their families with basic necessities. Even for those that did get paid decently as teachers, their medical and retirement benefits were often subpar, and they spent more money there, thus seeing that extra pay get negated almost immediately. This was the reality for me. Up on the screen here, I have a picture of the salary schedule from my previous school district. Now keep in mind, this is the current one, not the one I had. On the surface, it looks like a lot of money, and that I got paid more than most other places around the country, which is true. I am in Southern California, after all, not somewhere in, say, Oklahoma, whose pay is ridiculously lower than this salary shows. To actually break it down, though, you'll find that this isn't really the case. My medical benefits were awful, and I had to spend a large amount of my paycheck every month on that insurance in the first place. Sometimes being pushed into higher tax brackets made me end up with less money, too. Plus, to move over to the next column, I had to earn a master's degree and take additional courses just to supposedly make more money, but never enough to offset the money it took to obtain those degrees and certifications in the first place. So even when we moved over a column and made more money, a lot of that just pays off the things we had to do to get there. Oh yeah, and the grayed out areas are only anniversary increments that could be attained by staying in the district and not moving around. Basically trapping you and preventing job movement since you would lose that seniority. And I only ever made it to column C in case you were wondering. Overall, it is a nice little scheme they have going on if you really stop and think about it. But now, how is the pay better outside of teaching, though? Well, as I said earlier, it is a little complicated. When you leave education, your pay will vary based on the new career path you choose, the company, the place you live, etc. So I can't exactly speak to exact numbers. I would never promise you something that I have no way of knowing, but it will be higher in the long run because there is actual job growth in corporate fields. Many former teachers make more money as managers at Walmart and Target than they ever did while in the classroom, just to name an example. Where it will really depend, though, is if you end up as a salaried worker or a contract hourly worker. As a, as a teacher, you were used to having salary pay with consistent paychecks and paid time off, but you always worked more hours than what you should have and didn't get paid for it. 
Salary work in corporate can sometimes be the same way, but usually you also have much greater opportunity for job growth and promotions, plus better benefit packages. For contract work, though, which is what I do, by the way, most instructional design jobs are, there is always overtime pay, and I have so much freedom and flexibility with my schedule. I get far more done because of that, too, and am paid what I am worth. It does mean that I have the potential to be out of work when contracts end, though, and don't usually get paid on days off. Either way you looked at it, though, you will make more money than you did as an educator. To get to what I am making right now as a contracted ID, I would have to work for about 14 years in column C of my teaching pay scale, while many others would never even reach that number after 30 years. I got to the salary that I'm at right now within one. Pay is never the main reason why teachers transition out of the profession, but it is certainly high on the list. Education salaries are abysmal and is a significant contributing factor to why so many are not even choosing to become educators anymore. It is an expensive profession to enter and earn raises in without the pay to support it. Even to earn stipends to supplement that pay, educators have to wear themselves out working even more hours doing other tasks or teaching summer school. I was an avid site coordinator, for instance, at my last school, which demanded me oversee multiple adult tutors, their pay, scheduling, and extra meetings, totaling dozens of hours every month, and got paid only an extra $500 a semester for it. That isn't a sustainable way to live or work. Now, I get paid for a standard 40 hour a week, more than I did as a teacher, and feel like I have a normal amount of stress for a job than I used to. But I hope that answers the overall question, though. And that's it for today. As always, I am here to help you get started. See you next time.